welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make finally another DIY video because I actually like them the most. Um, how to make these very cute, like sleepy hats for newborns. They're super, e super easy. I'm going to show you behind the scenes shots of me photographing newborn babies wearing these sleepy hats. And I'm going to show you how to make them two different ways. Uh, they're super easy to make. I'm also going to give you the dimensions of my fabric. So yeah, first I have a newborn girl coming in and I'm going to show you how I use a sleepy head during a session. So uh, the parents have chosen like earthy tones, off-white, some pink. We might even go for like a floral setup and the setup on the dark wood with the greenery. But anyway, I want to try and use the sleepy head when she is in the bum-up position. So when she's lying on her tummy, and having her feet like crossed underneath her belly and then her bum is up a little bit it's important that your fabric is stretchy and uh, soft that you can easily like wash it as well so let's first go to the newborn session show you the sleepy hat in use and then i'm going to show you how to make the sleepy hat all you need is some stretchy fabric um, needle thread and scissors or you can do it with a glue gun um, but I mean you can easily like pull it apart and um, you feel some resistance where the glue is so I'd rather do it with a needle and a thread so I actually have two hats here that I already have in the studio uh, so I'm going to use that one as a pattern, but I'm going to give you the sizes as well. So it's going to be easier. As you can see, there's like a knot tied in the top. And this fabric I'm cutting now is easy because it doesn't like raffle at the ends. Um, these don't either, so you don't have to like trim the edges. Of course, you can if you want. So here you can see the size of the actual like sleepy hat. Just, yeah. So look at what's the pretty side and what's the not as pretty side of your fabric because I want to follow the lines of the fabric I'm not going to put it right to the corner uh, because I want to have the straight lines here uh, in my sleepy head you can cut like a centimeter what is it like half an inch extra because that's the amount that you're going to sew so I'm just going to fold it over gently and then like continue here so you got your fabric and all that you do is just fold it double and then sew it closed of course inside out and then make a little knot at the top and then you have your sleepy head There's a little bit of like a twist in it, but that's okay. In the end, you can always just like um, secure the edges a little bit more. And of course, if you use a sewing machine, um, it's a lot faster and probably better because you just go into like a straight line and um, yeah, probably looks better. Anyway, me and my sewing machine. So here we go. We've got the sleepy heads and now I'm just going to go 
turn it inside out. Get the point out. You can also stick your scissors in to get the point out, but just be careful. So now I have a beautiful newborn sleepy head. So I'm just going to put a knot in the top. It looks kind of cute. And here you go. You got your sleepy newborn head. And they're just super easy to make. So I'm going to use it today during the newborn session, hopefully, with a little boy. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the photos and how I style it a little bit. Um, I like it in the head on hands uh, position, in the bum up position. It can also be when the baby's wrapped lying on their back. Um, yeah, that's how easy to make it. Okay, so I've just been setting up for my newborn session with the little boy. They are going for like early tones. I still have to like sort out that one. Uh, so we have the like brown colored Flocati. I still have the setup from yesterday, which they might uh, appreciate to change the name. But anyway, um, so here I have uh, the backdrop, which is like sand colored. And then I have like some slouchy pants here, a little teddy bear, and then the new sleepy head which we just made i just made so we're gonna start with that hopefully and then uh, we'll go from there so yeah here is my speed light on one slash 32 and that's all i'm using for now for the newborn photos let me see that at the top and then later if we do family portraits i might use my other speed light as well so I hardly ever show the other side of the studio. So this is where the toilet is. Here's some like sitter outfits. And here in the top now I have some props because I think it looks better than the um, boxes that I had there first. I think this looks a little bit like neater. Um, so yeah, going down, you got the sink. It still looks messy there. I want to do something with it. For now I have like the white curtains in the bottom. I don't know if I like it. Um, so yeah, here are some flowers. And then here I just have like some decoration. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. You see me and the newborn, yeah, hopefully. And then my light is over here. Newborn will be here. I did place something underneath my Paloma Marshall beanbag here in the bottom because I thought it was sinking down too much here. Um, so here is the Paloma Marshall, and then there's like a little posing pillow just right here. And I have some posing pillows here that I can always use. Um, baby shushers right there. Outfits are here, ready. Um, so yeah, I am wearing this dress. Uh, it's from the H&M. Uh, I like that it's white, so I can still like sit as a lady on my yoga ball, but wearing a dress. Um, so yeah, I got my camera right here. My trigger from Godox. And I have my shutter speed at 1 slash 200, my aperture at uh, 3.2 and my ISO will be around between like 320 and 500 but of course I want to start with the white one because we just made it um, I have my I have my hand sanitizing gel right there and then the heater will be pointing towards the newborn uh, but I'm kind of like in between the newborn and the heater so I can monitor how warm it's getting um, so yeah, now I'm just gonna put the name of the newborn baby on my welcome sign and wait, I might have some time to eat a little bit. Because um, I still have like 25 minutes before they get here.
finished the newborn session with a tiny little newborn boy. Uh, he was actually born breech, so pretty much during the entire pregnancy he was um, like sideways or breech. I could notice it in how he was like kicking out his legs and almost like folding himself double. So the side pose, he kept like pulling his feet forward, which is completely fine. Just follow whatever the baby is um, giving you as far as like signals, what they like, what they don't like. Whenever he was like lying head on hands, he would like kick his feet to the side. Um, so follow whatever the baby's doing, talk with the parents, talk about the pregnancy, about the birth, um, and it'll help you to understand why a baby like certain poses and why they move their hands and their feet, um, arms, legs in certain uh, directions. But anyway, he was tiny, so he was not even three kilos yet. He was born pretty much like 24, 2500 grams. Now at three weeks old, he's 27, 2800 grams. Yeah. Um, so still tiny, but rocking the sleepy heads, uh, looking uh, adorable and very sweet. Um, so yeah, I photographed him with his mom as well and on the flocati and on the dark wood also wearing the sleepy head on the dark wood. So super cute. Okay, so now we're going for the glue gun version. Um, here's the fabric. Make sure that the fabric is like stretchy in the direction of where the head is. So not in the length of the, of the sleepy head, that doesn't really matter. But where the head is of the newborn, that there it's stretchy. Uh, and I'm going to give you the measurements as well. Okay, so here I'm kind of giving you the measurements. So this should be about 18 centimeters. So here about 18 centimeters. And it's about like 40 centimeters long, but you can make it pretty much as long as you want. But of course, it's folded double. So you actually should cut about 36 centimeters. I'll put the inches in the screen. So here, it, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of like you cut a cone, uh, but the fabric is like double. So opening it up, it should look something like this. Here we go. And now I'm just gonna glue it together. So I'm gonna look for the pretty side, make sure that that is uh, on the inside. Just fold it double and then start using the glue. Um, yeah, it's always nice when you have like a sleepy head, the baby's wearing it. You can also fold the edge like double or just leave it like this. I mean, here I'm gonna trim off this a little bit. Um, and you can also uh, add like a newborn headband around the front side so it's more girly, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I have uh, my kids in the background talking. But anyway, so here you see the pattern. So I really hope you, it kind of makes sense. So here we go. Uh, I'm just gonna trim the edge a little bit nicer. You can always do that after you glued or after you have sewn. Just so that, I mean, it's gonna ravel a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, so I think it's all dry. Now it is a little bit heavier because of the glue gun and this is a very light material. I mean, I can still make like a knot in the top because it's cute. Okay, yeah, this one turned out a little bit shorter than the other ones, but it's still super cute. And it was just with the glue gun. And it's still, I mean, it's flexible where I use the glue, but yeah, I mean, you feel it a little bit more than if you sew. So I prefer the sewing method, but um, it's still, like, it looks pretty nice. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video on how to make your own very easy DIY newborn sleepy head. Um, you can make them in all tons of colors. They're super cute, super easy to make. Um, so yeah, just... Um, and maybe if you make one yourself and you use it in a photo, uh, post it on Instagram and tag me or in your story. And then um, that would be great, great for me to watch. Um, so yeah, I enjoy these DIY videos the most. So I'm going to do tons of more DIY projects, hopefully in the near future. And then upload more videos, how to make your own photo shoot props. And um, yeah, so much fun. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. I love reading your comments. And then um, hopefully I'll see you in the comments and you can see me in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.